Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And it's my great pleasure to rise in the House today to um, speak in favor of Bill C-25, ensuring that Canadians are able to retire with financial security as paramount importance to our, to our government. Therefore, we're helping millions of Canadians save for retirement more easily by introducing the pooled registered retirement pension plans. This new low-cost and accessible option will help more Canadians meet their retirement goals. This is especially important for those working in small business and the self-employed. PRPPs will improve the range of retirement saving options by providing new accessible, straightforward, and administratively low-cost retirement option for employers to offer their employees. It will allow individuals who currently may not participate in a pension plan, such as the self-employed and employees of companies that do not currently offer a pension plan, to make use of this new type of retirement vehicle. It will enable more Canadians to benefit from the lower investment management costs that result from membership in a large pooled pension plan. It will allow accumulated benefits to move with each individual as he or she moves from job to job. And it will ensure that funds are invested in the best interest of the plan members. What has led to the development of PRPPs? Well, Canada's aging population and the global financial crisis has highlighted has highlighted the need for retirement income security. In this context, a joint federal-provincial working group was established in May of 2009 to undertake an in-depth examination of retirement income. The working group concluded that overall the Canadian retirement income system is performing well and providing Canadians with an adequate standard of living upon retirement. However, some Canadian households, especially modest and middle-income households, are at risk of not saving enough for retirement. There are a number of factors that may be contributing to this risk, including declining participation in employer-sponsored registered pension plans. The proportion of working Canadians with such plans has declined from 41% in 1991 to 34% in 2007. Some Canadians may also be failing to take advantage of the discretionary savings opportunities offered to them through individual structures like RRSPs. Participation in RRSPs reached a peak of 45% of the labour force in 1997 before levelling off to 39% in 2008. After careful consideration, the Ministers of Finance agreed to pursue a framework to establish pooled registered retirement pension plans as an effective and appropriate way to help bridge existing gaps in the retirement system. There are many benefits to PRPPs. First, PRPPs are an innovative new pension plan designed to address the lack of low-cost, large-scale retirement savings options available to many Canadians. Second, some Canadians may be failing to take advantage of the savings opportunities offered to them through individual structures like RRSPs. For an example, on average, each Canadian has over $18,000 in unused RRSP room. Third, many Canadians can only access a workplace pension plan if their employers offer one. Many employers do not want the legal nor administrative burden of offering a pension plan. As a result, over 60% of Canadians do not have a workplace pension. Recent data suggest that 97.8% of total business establishments are small firms, those that employ 50 people or less, and at this time, these firms are unable to efficiently provide a pension plan for their employees due to the cost presented by such plans. As a former business owner myself, I understand the difficulties associated with the costs and burden of administering a workplace pension plan. Fourth, the design features of the PRPP will remove a lot of the traditional barriers that might have kept some employees, employers rather, in the past from offering pension plans to their employees. Fifth, the design of these plans will also be straightforward to allow for simple enrollment and management. A third-party PRPP administrator will take on most of the responsibilities that employers bear in existing pension plans, including the administrative and legal duties associated with administering such a plan. Six, by pooling pension savings, PRPPs will offer Canadians greater purchasing power. They will be able to buy in bulk. Achieving lower prices than would otherwise be available means they will get greater returns on their savings and more money will be left in their pockets when they retire. Finally, PRPPs are intended to be largely harmonized from province to province, which also allows for lower administrative costs. Now, Bill C-25 
is of great importance to Canadians. We must give Canadians the confidence that they can retire with the confidence that when they finally do retire, that they are financially secure. In order to achieve this goal, our government has put forward a strong proposal to provide Canadians with the ability to save for their retirement on their own terms. Our government is working tirelessly to ensure financial stability for all Canadians and providing proper pension opportunities is one of the ways we can make sure we stay firmly focused on what matters most to Canadians, jobs and a strong economy. Pooled registered re re pension plans are a smart and effective way for our people to save for tomorrow, today. Therefore, I urge all those present today to join me in supporting Bill C-25. Questions and comments? Uh, the Honourable Member from Scarborough Southwest. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> now my question to the Member I raised the point that uh, you know, most Canadians have uh, upwards of $18,000 in unused RSP limits. Um, and, you know, my experience with RSPs and those of my friends and people around my age is that, uh, you know, you're not using up all that space because you don't have the money to invest it in the first place. Because there aren't good paying jobs, because there aren't jobs that come with benefits and defined pensions. Um, so my question is, how is it that you think that, or that, how does the member think, my apologies, uh, that uh, this new pooled pension plan is somehow going to solve that problem where Canadians don't have enough money to invest in their pensions in the first place. The Honourable Member for York Centre. Well, I thank, the, um, I thank the Honourable Member for his question, and he's actually making our argument for us. People don't have enough money. Ergo, they will need a pension, a secure pension when they retire. You have to understand that Canada that Canada right now has the strongest economy in the G8. However, however, the economy, our economic recovery is fragile and it can be affected by circumstances beyond our control. Therefore, what we have decided to do as a government is to introduce at this point in time a pooled registered retirement pension plan so when Canadians reach the age of retirement and they're, and they're able to, um, to withdraw from their work, that they will have a secure income in which to do so and have the confidence in, in, uh, in uh, to carry on a good quality of life. Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for Humber, St. Barb Bay Verde. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I want to follow up on a question that I presented uh, this afternoon during question period. I didn't get an answer from the, uh, from the Minister, so I'll ask it to this uh, member. Uh, I had raised the question of whether or not uh, there will be any changes in policy or legislation that are being contemplated by the government regarding the Old Age Security Act. I raise the question from the point of view, or from the, from the premise that previous changes have been made to the policy which affected current beneficiaries of the Old Age Security benefits under the Guaranteed Income Supplement in 2010. The government has said, the government has said there will be no changes that affect current pensioners. I couldn't get an answer from the minister, though, when I asked a question. Are they contemplating any changes in either policy or legislation to the old uh, OAS Act? Yes or no? The Honourable Member for York Centre. You know, it's rather interesting. It's passing strange that this member would, would, uh, would ask, ask me such a question. Um, the focus of, of our remarks today are on the PRPP, that's what Bill C-25 is about. But he did reference that he wants to ask the government. And I would suggest to him that the government is the, is the, um, is the Prime Minister and the Cabinet, and he has ample opportunity during question period to pose his questions uh, to, the, to the Prime Minister or to the, members, the appropriate members of the Cabinet. Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now, a number of small businesses have the option of signing their employees on to group RSPs, and many do. So what would be the advantage of a, a company signing on with the pooled registered pension plan as opposed to going the group RSP route? Honourable Member for York Centre. Well, I thank the member for her um, wonderful question, very insightful. Um, I would suggest that the advantage of, um, of uh, going the um, PRPP route as opposed to 
being able to fill out your um, full complement of RRSP or group RRSP. Um, we're really sort of comparing apples and oranges. And the PRPP represents a payment at the time of retirement um, without having to um, contribute um, um, income that um, uh, as much income um, for the PRPP as you would for the RRSP. So the, it's much more cost effective and would also cover those people who just don't have enough discretionary income either at the employer level, the employee level, to contribute to an RRSP or a group RRSP. So the PRPP is certainly the way to go and much more cost effective for everyone concerned.